In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice comparing sides and angles in triangles. In example A, it says list the sides in order from shortest to longest. So the first thing we want to do actually is figure out this missing angle A. And you should remember that the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees by the triangle sum theorem. So if we want to find the measure of angle A, we can do 180 minus 86 minus 27, which is 67. So this angle is 67 degrees. Now, the smallest side of a triangle will be across from the smallest angle. The smallest angle is the 27 degree angle. So that means the smallest side is across from it, and it is side AB. So the shortest side is AB. After that, we can go to the medium length side, which would be across from the middle angle of the three, which is the 67. So across from the 67 will be the medium length side, which is BC. Then the longest sides across from the biggest angle of 86, and that would be AC. So from shortest to longest, the sides are AB, then BC, and then AC. In example B, it says list the angles in order from largest to smallest. So the same property holds in this direction. If we start out knowing the side lengths, we can figure out the ordering of the angles by looking at which sides are smaller and bigger. So the largest angle will be across from the longest side. The longest side is six, so across from that is angle A. So that means angle A is the largest angle. The medium length angle will be across from the medium length side of five. So that means the medium angle is angle B. And therefore, the smallest angle is across from the smallest side of four, and that's angle C. So the largest angle is across from the largest side, and the smallest angle is across from the smallest side. Let's look at example C. List the sides in order from least to greatest. And in this case, we have two triangles that are put together and share one side in the middle and also have another side in common. So let's look at each triangle separately. First, for triangle BCD, in order to figure out these three sides, how they compare, we should figure out the missing angle. So we can do 180 minus 92 minus 45 to get 43 degrees for this missing angle. So that means in this triangle, the smallest side is BD because it's across from the smallest angle. The second smallest side is CD and the largest side is BC. So that's from least to greatest. Now let's switch over to the other triangle, triangle DCE. In this triangle, the missing angle is 180 minus 68 minus 57, which is 55 degrees. So since that's the smallest angle, it means the smallest side is CE, which is across from it. The medium length side is the side across from the 57 degree angle at angle E, which is CD. And the longest side is DE. Now we have to compare how do BC and DE compare, because so far we know that BD is the same thing as CE, because they're marked as being congruent. After that, the next biggest thing is CD. So the only thing we need to figure out for the last two spots are which comes first, BC or DE. So if we look back over at the triangle, these two triangles have two pairs of congruent sides, here and the side in the middle. So because of that, we can look at these angles, 92 degrees versus 68 degrees, to figure out how the sides BC and DE compare. 
Because 92 degrees is bigger than 68 degrees, that means that BC has to be bigger than DE. Therefore, the last two sides in our ordering will be DE followed by the biggest side, BC.